Okay, first of all, if you haven't seen the Friday Night Funkin' video that we did yesterday, that junk is absolutely hilarious with the situation that happens today. So the moment I'm about to record and everything, the person that made the mod ended up appreciating the video and then also becoming a Patreon member. Oh my goodness. I, of all the things I was expecting on my bingo card, that was not one of them. I think a lot of stuff hasn't been happening on my bingo card I expected. So, you know, this has been crazy. Anyway, point is, if he go ahead and become a Patreon member, there's no reason why you can't too. So if you would like to become one, if you want to, then please become a Patreon member and just become even cooler like everybody else. Anyway, let's actually get to the point of the video. So, Anime YouTube. That shit is dead. If we look at Anime YouTube from over its entire lifetime, it has gone through a lot of crazy stuff and it has gone through a lot of changes as time kind of gone on and there is a lot of people that's within the field of it and still does amazing work but for the major main top people that is probably will always be on top it doesn't necessarily hit the same and the reason why I say that is because a lot of people are just kind of doing their own things there is those smaller channels that we'll talk about you know manga and power scaling and reviews and all that type of stuff which I appreciate that but the top people absolutely do not do that no more and it sucks because I can remember back in 2015 2016 those years those were the slapping years of anime YouTube granted that was also the year where people kept talking shit about lolly and then ruined the taste of what lolly is and people are now retarded with how to think about lolly which that's the part of anime YouTube I absolutely hate but still nonetheless it was a pretty decent time for anime YouTube, if I'm being honest, at least according to me. That's also when I discovered anime YouTube, that's also as well as I discovered the Anime Man, which will lead me on to inspire me to create my own channel as well as other channels as well at that time. But the Anime Man barely talks about anime anymore, going as far as to talking about water, granted it's on his other channel, but still, water, are we that bored now? And then you also have like Nuxtaku who used to talk about anime left and right. Now just host tournaments after tournaments after tournaments. Like if you're trying to F someone, I get it. But like, oh my gosh, stop hosting tournaments. Find something else to do, mother effer. But point is, a lot of stuff that we usually used to see back in the old days, it just doesn't hit the same anymore. Everybody's kind of just doing their own thing. And perfectly honest, that's fine. And I'm being honest, that's fine. You can do what you want, but... It just feels like a hollow form of what anime YouTube is supposed to be or what it used to be. Not saying that every single top person that's up there isn't necessarily doing anime content as much as a lot of people don't like him for whatever reason. Personally, I don't mind him. Giguk, he's one of the only people that really still talks about it. Even though the man's on break, still the man deserves a bit, a bit of a break if I'm being honest. And still is one of the people that still talks about anime and stuff when it comes down to things, unlike everybody else. Nowadays, I guess it's more about all those people kind of having a reputation that they just don't want people to sour on. And I guess that has something to do with it, which I can understand that. But at the same time, it's like no one is challenging things anymore. No one's actually trying to top one another or something like that, I guess. Being competitive and you know showing out with how good they can make their content and videos it, it just doesn't feel like it's really anime youtube anymore and the only time it does feel like it is when you're looking at other channels at the bottom the very damn bottom that still likes the craft of what of what it originally was like that's what i used to or wanted to do in the beginning of my channel i wanted to talk about a lot of anime stuff unfortunately that doesn't do that well and only rarely do I ever get the chance to talk about it, even though I really want to talk about it a lot more. It, get, it also comes down to, as well, as people's tastes kind of change over time. Like, you've seen these top people for years, and of course they're going to have a massive audience. And the general public will more likely sway towards them more than they will go to the bottom of the barrel to find who is there. And which is the unfortunate thing, because whatever they see them doing is exactly the reflection they're gonna have on us which sucks but it is what it is and i feel like he kind of puts this down too because it's like oh if they can do all this type of stuff what is this new youtuber gonna do and that's kind of i feel like what people are looking for 
when it comes down to things, which absolutely kind of sucks, but it's true in my, at least from what I haven't seen. Maybe a lot of people, well definitely a lot of people, don't want to see new YouTubers kind of come through or new content creators kind of come through and just do their thing because, you know, they don't like the change of things. I think Jack said the guy said it in his trash taste, you know, interview kind of thing. He's just like, you know, it's not necessarily for him with all the new stuff that's kind of coming out with the gaming side of YouTube. It doesn't feel this. It doesn't feel like the real gaming side of YouTube, according to him. But you also got to realize if that's how he feels about the gaming side, that's also how probably those top anime YouTubers feel about the anime side of things. They probably don't want anybody to, sur to surpass them and then don't want anybody to come in and pretty much take over things because, you know, that means that they probably either have to challenge or they just gonna have to put up with some nonsense that they don't want to necessarily put up with. But here's the thing, time changes things. Time is literally the biggest F you to all of humanity. It will honestly screw you over in everything in every sense of the way. Time itself cannot be stopped and just like time cannot be stopped, growth and new people coming in will also not be stopped. Which is why I don't necessarily hesitate to shout somebody out if I feel like their channel is good or I think they have a very good opinion. That's just me. I'll be more than happy to shout out as many anime YouTubers as it takes if I ever get to become someone that's, you know, respected and at the top. That's just me though. But you can't stop people's growth from becoming, you know, the top person of the town anymore. That's just not how it is. And not to mention, there's gonna be a day where you retire. So you might as well let some people in shout some people out let them know let some of these you know you're let some of these people that watch a lot of the top people know that hey there's people at the bottom that's really damn good you should check them out and that's the kind and that's kind of the thing though because again a lot of these older channels a lot of these older top people they're gonna be here but they're not gonna be here forever they're not gonna be here for as long as probably the younger newer channels are my ass has only been here for almost three years and I've seen a lot and understand a lot when it comes to, you know, not only to the anime YouTube space, but to YouTube in general and influencing and all this type of stuff. I feel like I'm ready, but, and that, but that's just me personally. But when it all comes down to it, I just feel like the anime YouTube space has been dead for a very long time and a lot of the creators that make, used to make really good content don't necessarily make it anymore or they just don't care about anime just like a after that if I'm being honest and it's kind of shitty if we're being honest too so many different branches over time has come out of the anime community like VTubing to the point it just made anime feel like an afterthought and it's so shitty and it just this ain't what I signed up on but pretty much that's what I wanted to talk about for this one so hopefully you did enjoy in an understanding of what I'm trying to say and if you did understand, if you did hear something that you like, please go ahead and subscribe as well as become a Patreon member if you would like to. And yeah, that's basically it. So until then, it's your boy Jay, sign off. How about say?